Hello everyone, this is Dreadnought, and today we're going to talk about being a barbarian in Inferno mode. If you've done Inferno, then you know that survivability is a big issue in Inferno because things hit so hard. And so we're going to talk about how you're going to switch your stats up a little bit when you're moving from Hell to Inferno. One thing I want to talk about real quick is the armor system or the damage reduction system because I've had a lot of questions on it. And how damage reduction works is it's filtered through both your armor and your resistances. So for example, for me I have a 4488 armor which gives me a 59.94% reduction of enemies of my level. So first the damage goes through this 59.94 filter and then it's also decreased by my resistances. So let's look at cold damage. I would first receive this 59.94% damage reduction and then the remainder of that damage will go through the second filter of 43.36% which leaves me somewhere around 22% damage that I'm taking. And I'm not going to get into all my abilities real quick but this is a good time to talk about Warcry which is going to bring my armor up to over 5,000, my reduction to 64.22, and then it will also be filtered through this 53.45%. These don't look like big increases, but when you do the math, it's actually going to take me down to only taking between 16 and 17% of the damage, which is a 36% damage reduction increase without Warcry. So even though I have this 35k health, that's nothing if I was taking full damage. I'm only taking 16 to 17% damage. So remember before you stack this vitality that you, you have to have the damage reduction before you start stacking vitality. And you also need a way to get your life back, which we're going to get into in just a second. A lot of you wanted to see the gear I was using. I'm not going to go into every piece. I will slide over each one of them so that you can see what I'm working. I would like to have a few more sockets because it's nice to be able to switch from strength to vitality when things get difficult and back to strength when things are a little bit easier. You'll notice that I have attack speed increase on my rings, my amulet, and my gloves. That's because I'm using Frenzy with um, life per hit right now. So my attack speed is at... 1.51 right now and so with this 719 lifesteal I'm actually at let me look real quick 810 life per hit which isn't huge but when you have the frenzy stacked and your attack speed is really high then you can get life back a lot faster I was using life per kill and I suggested that people use life per kill for two-handed weapons which still stands but in inferno the elites and champions are what you really need to worry about and you're not going to be getting a lot of kills when you're fighting only one to three really difficult enemies and so life per hit is a lot more useful and it's also why I use frenzy and I stack as much attack speed as I can so that's a look at the gear if you're looking at my abilities right now you may recognize this from four strats build it's very similar four strat in his last build, I believe, used Ignore Pain. He has a few Barbarian barbarian builds that he shows. Uh, instead of Ignore Pain, I still use Seismic Slam, which helps me have one-on-one -on -one fights a lot more often. Because no matter what, in Inferno, when you get surrounded, it is you're gonna, your life is going to go down really quickly. And so Seismic Slam makes it a lot easier to get a one-on-one -on -one fight, a one-on-two fight, when you can knock enemies out of the way. It's also a awesome dump for your fury because if you don't have the seismic slam you don't have a fury dump and if you're not using the 25 percent damage increase from fuel full fury it just it seems like a complete waste to have full fury all the time and when you're in inferno you really want these defensive skills i use unforgiving which is not defensive but it comes in handy when you're kiting things around to be generating fury instead of degenerating fury so just a real quick at my abilities and why I use them. I use Frenzy because of the life steal that, that uh, I can get from life per hit because I'm hitting so quickly. 
I use Vanguard because you only need to hit once to get that 15% increased movement speed and movement speed will save your life many many times in Inferno. Seismic Slam I talked about Furious Charge. I'm actually using the Dreadnought Rune for the first time since playing Diablo 3. Uh, Four Strat sold me on the idea. It's working really well. One caution though when using Furious Charge is that it's a defensive ability but sometimes Furious Charge will leave you in the middle of a group which you did not intend to be in the middle of. So before you, I use my Furious Charge I make sure I have Ground Stomp on cooldown because if you accidentally end up in the middle of a champion group then you can hit Ground Stomp and save yourself a quick death. Warcry, I rune with 50% to all resistances and I, in my opinion this is just a must with how hard things hit you can't let them be hitting for 30 or 40% damage it needs to be below 20% damage that you're taking even if you're stacking a lot of vitality Wrath of the Berserker, I use the Insanity Rune it's really nice when you can end an elite's life before the Wrath of the Berserker comes off of cooldown. It will make things so much simpler if it only takes one Wrath to end a, an Elite because if Wrath comes off cooldown and they're still at 50% life you're gonna have a long kite ahead of you to try and stay alive and end the Elite before he ends you. Nerves of Steel uh, because I am stacking quite a bit of vitality that the armor crease increase is worth it. Superstition for all of those overpowered abilities that the elites have that are non-physical damage, 20% reduction is huge. Unforgiving, I don't recommend to everyone, but with my playstyle, I like to be generating always instead of degenerating. If you're not using Unforgiving uh, with this build, I would either switch to Berserker Rage and get rid of Seismic Slam and swap out for Ignore Pain, which is closer to Force Strat's strategy or I would go to tough as nails to further increase the armor when enemies get a little bit too rough I might switch this on and get rid of unforgiving but I never like to lose my Nephilim stack so this is the build that I try and go with if there's any questions on this build go ahead and feel free to submit below if you have an o if you have a build similar to this and you have one or two things that are a little bit different let me know I'm always down to hear new ideas on builds and uh, I don't believe there's any perfect build and so my build is always evolving. Good luck on Inferno mode and remember that Inferno is not just the other difficulties with a little increase it is a completely different game and you need to completely change your play style so don't get too frustrated just consider it practice when you're dying over and over again you're getting better. Good luck remember to subscribe and like if you like the video and keep letting me know what you want to see.